finally made it to Soho Farmhouse. Ow! And I have a rip in my dress, so in bougie ass Soho Farmhouse, but I look like a homeless person. You know how we do. <laughs> Okay, so hopefully this room tour doesn't get me like kicked out of some house. I mean, that's what they do in filming or whatever, blah, blah, blah. But I know I'm not the first YouTuber to show her a little piglet room. Anyways, been a member for a few few years, have never actually made it out to the farmhouse. Um, I don't know, just always want to come with Bay. Bay, let's just say Bay gives too mm, about Soho House or any of that stuff, right? So I could have come alone. I could have come with some friends or whatever, but you know, adult life, scheduling, planning, so on and so forth. It's just easier, easiest to come with your partner. Anyways, they had an event that was for like founders and small business owners to do brand marketing development. And I was like, oh baby, look at this cool event they have. And I was like, oh, that sounds great. Where is it? I was like, Soho Farmhouse. And he looked at me and I looked at him and he looked at me and I looked at him and he was like, okay. And then we booked the whole farmhouse, baby. And here we are. Piglet life. Mm, 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 mm. Am I going to tell you guys a story about how I made the booking? And then Soho Farmhouse wanted to call me up like a few weeks later and be like, sorry, we had a glitch in our system. There's no rooms available. You actually don't have a booking. We've canceled it. I was like, come again. No. I did not wait this long for y'all to have a technical glitch and not give me my booking and then try and ask me to pay more to stay in a more expensive room on a different day. So, you know, your girl's definitely going to be checking the booking and the invoicing when I check out of here because y'all better not have upsold me. No nonsense. Anyway, so here we are in the piglet room. The piglet room tends to be, well, the piglet room is the least expensive option, but I think it's so cute. I think it's so cute. I'll give you a little tour now. And you can see how cute it is. I think for being one of the rooms that is on the lower end of the pricing for Soho House, which is still not cheap, um, it's super cute. So let's do a little tour. super king size bed we got all of the cocktail stuff and there's a whole like mini bar down there tea and coffee wardrobes like first thing Bay and I are about to do is literally jump in bed and watch some films that's your girl hey hello these hips don't lie <laughs> so her house of robes the um, skin products that they I wonder how this brand is doing might be worth doing a little review if y'all want to see a review of soho skin um leave a comment and i might actually do a little review of those products so taking a closer look at the products that they give us to take away not the cow shed you can't ever take away the full size products but let's see what they have here tampon actually super useful there have been many a time where i've been away on a holiday and desperately needed these and the hotel was useless and didn't give that as an offering shower cap yes mucho importante nail file mm -hmm. won't he do it earplugs okay when you have this loud partner that you need to block out no mine's not loud and look at this this is a first i've actually never seen this before and i have stayed overnight in soho houses before but not just condoms, they're really just, they want you to have a good old time, don't they? Okay, all right, yeah, sure. Okay, so house, I see you. That's me again. We got a little outhouse, which is actually indoors. <laughs> and then, yeah, beautiful tiled shower. And this is the room. So nice and cozy, of course, beautiful English countryside weather, it's raining, and we've been very eager to like get into our room. We've been here since this morning because we did that brand marketing event. And then of course, every single, um, every time you book a stay here, it comes with little bicycles. 
for you to use to get around the grounds, which are refreshed every morning in case you don't have bicycles by the end of the evening. And yeah, and that's it. That is the tour. Now we're gonna have a wonderful time and relax and cozy up and watch some movies. Dee -dee 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 -dee. A few moments later. What did you say? I told you to lock it. Picture wars. <laughs> Who's gonna get the best video of the other person? Which video will make the cut? The little piglet for the weekend in rainy, rainy England. And it was hailing and snowing yesterday. <laughs> I think the pigs are so cute. I think the surrounding areas are super cute. Yeah. And a oop, and a oop, and a oop, 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 oop. And we ready. We're going to have a hot mess kind of day. You ready, Lily? Everybody, hold on to your butts. Hopefully this is recording. Okay, so we need to decide the order of how we're getting things done today. I've already dilly-dallied a lot. Oh, there's hot water in the kettle. So that is, your girl was thinking ahead of time. That's great. My house is a mess. Ignore it, please. Any of the mess that you see in the background so because this is a busy day where we already run in late already behind schedule what else is new ain't got time for the usual breakfast so we just gonna have three boiled eggs i've still gotta eat breakfast you need energy to get through all this chaos i gotta do today also let me not say all this chaos i gotta do today this is the life I have dreamed of and have worked hard for. So all the stuff I am so thrilled to do today. Y'all can probably see the chaos at the back of my head. The next actual thing on the calendar or on the schedule today that like needs to get done is at one o'clock I have a call with a director for a short film, see if we can work together to make this ish happen. Um, but that's not the next thing I really need to do. The next thing I really need to do, I also need to make sure that the self tape that is due at three o'clock is filmed before that meeting, because otherwise it's just gonna be too tight and too stressful. But what I would also highly recommend to myself is to get this hair done before that one o'clock Zoom. So what we gonna do, we gonna eat, we are ideally gonna take no more than an hour and a half to finish this her. So let's say the her is finished at 11.30. Then I can like, also I'm gonna eat the boiled eggs within that next hour and a half. Then I can shower, get ready, get dressed for the day and stuff between 11.30 and 12.30. And then have that call at one. Oh, f I forgot, I need to do that tape. I don't know, we already struggling, we'll figure it out. Okay, guess I'm not having my one o'clock, but that's okay. You know, I was supposed to be meeting with the creative director. I think maybe something might have happened. She might have forgotten about it or something came up, which is all good. Um, it's been a little bit difficult locking in a meeting for this project, but life bees like that sometimes. Like I had a chaotic morning and so I can like understand. Obviously like for projects to get done, there's a certain amount of like, okay, we need to make sure we like 
have the meetings and do the stuff. But this particular project I think is like super cool. And this creative director has been on my radar, on my radar for like a while. So the fact that like we have even been connected to like work on a project together is like something super cool. So I think if this project is meant to be, it a thousand percent will. And I know I'll hear from her at some point. And yeah, if it's meant to be, it will be. So I'm not stressed about it. And that frees me up to procrastinate because I don't have a thousand other things to do right now. No, I need to move on to the next thing that I need to do. <laughs> so yeah, okay, let's get tape number two for the day done. Don't trip. 